What is going on everyone? So recently there's been a lot of talk about these 11 million missing shares. Actually, it's over 11 million. I believe the number is like 11 and a half million somewhere around there. But some YouTubers have been coming out talking about this and showing you some numbers that are based on a proxy vote statement that we received and also based on Adam Aaron's tweets. So I believe that I've located these shares. Actually, I know that I've located these shares. So today I want to focus on that. I'm very briefly going to just run through the math that these other YouTubers have been doing. And I am aware that you guys have probably seen those videos. So I'm not going to spend too much time on it. I'm going to run through that. And then I'm going to show you where the 11 million shares are. And as always, we are going to get right into it. But before we do, I simply ask that you smash that like button if you do appreciate my content. Also, if you're new here, if this is your first time and you're not subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so because I do want you to join our growing ape family. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this show on the road. So I'm not going to drop anybody's name or YouTube channel or anything like that, but uh, we are going to go over their thought process and how they came up with their numbers. So we're going to take a look at the math behind it. So the first thing that we're going to start with is the supplement to the prospectus that was filed on April 27th, 2021 which was uh, when AMC entered into a distribution agreement with uh, B. Riley Securities and Citigroup, which basically gives AMC the right to sell up to an aggregate amount of 11,550,000 shares. Next up, we've got the June 9th tweet from Adam Aaron stating that we have 501,780,000 shares, which leads to the June 3rd press release, which came out and basically said that AMC completed the at-the-market equity offering, raising $587.4 million in additional equity capital. And that, of course, was for those 11,550,000 shares. So they're taking the $501 million, adding another $12 million to it, or, you know, 11.55. So that gives them around 513 million shares. So then... On July 30th, Adam Aaron tweeted again, and he says, Many of you continue to be concerned about the AMC share count. In early June, we announced an all-inclusive share count total of 513,330,240 legally issued shares. Precisely zero new shares have been issued since then. And this is followed up by another tweet by Adam Aaron that says, as to the existence of so-called fake or synthetic shares or the naked short selling of AMC shares, we are unaware of any information validating these theories. Also, we are unable to make any comment on the considerable trading of puts and calls derivatives. And then, of course, all shareholders of AMC prior to June 2nd did receive a proxy statement asking you to vote at the shareholder meeting that was scheduled for July 29th, where there were four proposals. And one of them, the, the first proposal, asked you to approve the issuance of an extra 25 million shares. And in the proposal, it specifically states authority to issue 25 million shares to a total of 549,173,000 and 73 shares. And as I'm sure that all of you already know, Adam Aaron came back and tweeted again saying that he was going to cancel the July vote for the 25 million extra shares. So this would mean that the 549,173,073 shares, uh, if you subtract 25 million from that, you get around 524 million shares. And then if we take it a step further and take the 524 million shares and subtract the 513 million shares that Adam Aaron tweeted about on July 30th, that would give you the 11 million shares that everyone is talking about on YouTube. Or in other words, the missing shares. So I'm about to show you exactly where these shares are, but before I can show you that, I need to explain the types of shares to you. So there are authorized shares, and there are also outstanding shares. Authorized shares are the maximum number of shares a company is allowed to issue to investors, 
as laid out in its Articles of Incorporation. And outstanding shares are the actual shares issued or sold to investors from the available number of authorized shares. Now, when we take a look at these two tweets side by side and pay close attention to the wording, you see that the one on the left that says as of June 2nd, there's 501 million, almost nearly 502 million shares. But that was uh, put out on June 9th and is referring to the share count as of June 2nd. But we know that on June 3rd, the ATM for 11 million and 550,000 shares had been completed, which gives you the 513,330,240 shares. So that's no secret there. If you take a look at what he says in the tweet from three days ago, it says, in early June, we announced an all-inclusive share count total of 513, blah, blah, blah. So early June to me would mean like June 2nd, June 3rd. So what I believe Adam Aaron means here is the total when you take the 501 and add those 11.55 million shares and you get 513. So the main YouTuber that I saw talking about this and afterwards I saw other YouTubers picking this up and basically just going off of what the first YouTuber that put this out was saying. So this was a bigger YouTuber and smaller YouTubers pretty much followed along without actually looking into the numbers, without looking at the financial statements and the balance sheet to be specific, which is exactly what you need to do. You do not need to go off of what anybody says on Twitter or anything like that because what's said on Twitter is not legally binding. If Adam Aaron gets on Twitter and puts out some numbers, that does not matter. You should not go by that. It doesn't matter who it is because it is not legally binding. He could have made a mistake. He does not have to provide those numbers to the SEC, okay, whatever he's he's put on Twitter, okay, not saying that he's intentionally putting uh, false numbers on Twitter because I do not believe that that is the case here. In fact, based on my calculations, it's not the case here, but what I do believe is that, you know, you need to fact check the people that you're getting your information from. So always fact check your source, whether that's Adam Aaron on Twitter, whether that's another YouTuber on YouTube, that is exactly what you need to do. So the YouTuber that was saying that these shares were unaccounted for, that is actually not correct because as we can see, these shares have been accounted for since 2014. That's right. So since 2014, which predates Adam Aaron, which means before Adam Aaron ever became CEO of AMC, these 524 million shares were already authorized. Now, if you take the 524 authorized shares and you add the 25 million that we were supposed to vote on, but then Adam Aaron said he would cancel the vote on those, then what do you get? Well, you get the 549 million that we can see on the current proposal that was in the proxy vote for July 29th. So I guess, in other words, what I'm trying to say is there are no extra 11 million shares. Okay, this has been in the works for quite a long time, since 2014. Here's another thing. In order for us to be able to determine how many shares are still available for Adam Aaron, to pretty much issue. We would take a look at the total authorized shares and subtract from that number the shares outstanding. So as we know, 524 is the is what's been authorized. You subtract the 513, what do you get around 11 million shares? What that tells me is that we can still be further diluted because Adam Aaron has 11 million shares that can be issued. Now, nobody's been talking about this. No one said anything about it. The people that have reported on it on YouTube actually got it wrong because they said there's 11 million shares not accounted for. They are accounted for. So this should pretty much teach you a lesson and let you know that, you know, be careful who you're following, what you're listening to, what you're watching on YouTube, because nobody out here is a financial advisor. But if you do take the 2014 
balance sheet and compare that 524 million shares authorized to the amount of shares authorized on the most recent, which would be the May 6, 2021 10Q, then you'll see that it's the exact same number. I hope that this is enough confirmation for you that what I'm telling you is the truth, that this is legit and that I know what I'm talking about. And when I say this, I'm not saying this to brag on myself or talk about how smart I am or how cool I am because I solved the mystery. I found the 11 million shares, man. No, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm telling you all this because I am a shareholder and I'm holding for the cause. And I do not want anybody leaving this movement because they've been misinformed and things don't happen the way that they expected it to happen. But unfortunately, I'm seeing a lot of copycat YouTubers. A big YouTuber will put some information out or some content out. And smaller YouTubers will sit there and pretty much report on it without doing any due diligence themselves. Otherwise, they would know and be aware that the information that's coming out of the bigger YouTuber isn't always correct. Now, there are complex issues surrounding AMC stock. I'm gonna, I'll tell you that straight up. I mean, you know, sometimes it takes me doing a lot of research because some of these things are new to me, but I do, you know, do my due diligence so that I can report accurate information for you guys so that we don't lose anybody along the way or you know get anybody frustrated because the information ends up not panning out. So I hope that this all makes sense to you, but if it doesn't, by golly, please leave a comment below and ask any questions that you have and I will try to get to those as soon as I possibly can. I do want to thank you for watching this video and please do not forget to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm so that every ape can see this if you appreciate the content. And of course, if you are new here, again, if you're new here, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button as well. Tap that bell so that you're notified as soon as I drop a video. I drop videos just like this one every single day. While I have you here, I wanted to quickly tell you about the brand new First Trade app, available for mobile or PC. The platform will give you access to powerful and easy to use tools and allows you to trade with less restrictions, zero commissions, zero fees, and you can use the first link in the description below to download a free stock today without having to deposit any money. This will greatly help out the channel and is always appreciated. And now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Congrats, ladies and gentlemen, you've made it to the end of the video. If you like what you watched, make sure you subscribe because I put out videos just like this one every single day. And please do me a favor and smash that like button if I helped you in any way because it really goes a long way in helping the channel out and keeps me motivated to make videos every single day. Now there's a lot of work involved, a lot of research, and a lot of time and effort into editing and putting these out daily for you guys. You can subscribe from your screen right now or if you want to watch one of my other videos, I'm sure YouTube has some good content picked out for you on the left-hand side of your screen now. Thanks for sticking it out with me till the end, and I will see you guys in the next video.